You need an open mind and an open heart. And <laughs> you need to love your partner and be patient with camera equipment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tori. I am Taller. And I'm Garrett. Welcome back to another one of our cooking shows. Unless it's your first time, then welcome to the first time of our cooking show. True. We're just going to take a bunch of stuff and throw it in the food processor and make muffins. What are these called? Vegan pumpkin muffins. Pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. Pumpkin. Pumpkin! Pumpkin. <laughs> Minimal ingredients, like less than 10 ingredients in this. Super simple. All of our ingredients are on the table. Super delicious. Super, what, like, cre not creamy. They're ultra, ultra delicious, ultra creamy, ultra fun. <laughs> Step number one. Preheat the oven 350 degrees. We did that already. We did do that. Step two is you want to grease your muffin tin. Okay, I use coconut oil. You can use any vegetable oil that you want. Step three is throw all of the ingredients in a food processor. Step three out of the steps is by far my favorite step out of the first three. A half a cup of oats. Food, we've got our food processor. <laughs> half a cup of oats. Whoa! <laughs> oats. All right, one fourth cup of agave. 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 Whoa, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So now you can either add in two and a half tablespoons of stevia or more agave. We're gonna go with the more agave. Whoa, 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 whoa. And you can pour your agave from here, but what? that's silly. Pour it from here. <laughs> ah! And you're making. And then you pour a little on are your you partner's serious? hand. She likes licking agave up her. <laughs> <laughs> Take that! Step five, wear an agave mustache. <laughs> Six is go wash your agave hands. So while Tori's washing her washing her hands, I'm gonna juggle. <laughs> now that Tori's back. Everyone is wearing an agave mustache. So we've just got a can of white beans, one can of white beans, pour it in here, strain it, rinse them out, pour them into the food processor. You want to make sure you pat them down, you dry them a little bit so they're not super liquidy. No one wants it to be ultra liquidy. Ultra. 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 Step number six is add some spices. No, not yet. Not. Step number six is not add spices. Two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Yes. Two. Perfect. <laughs> You're driving me crazy. <laughs> Step number seven is be patient with your partner. Um, One half a cup of pumpkin puree. Yeah, half cup. You just use a tap method. One half cup of pumpkin puree. Yeah, One, you're, you're making a mess. Yes. On the oh. One half cup of almond butter. One fourth cup of almond butter. One half of one half of one cup of almond butter. Three fourths tablespoon of baking powder. Baking That's powder. baking soda. Baking powder. Be careful with that. Oh, it was actually three fourths teaspoon, I think. A little extra baking powder never hurt anybody. One eighth teaspoon of baking soda. The difference between baking powder and baking soda I is that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't, the world really has never known the difference between the two. Scholars maintain that it's probably about six to seven sprinkles. <laughs> All right, and then you want to sprinkle in some sea salt to taste. Now we want to add in our pumpkin pie spice. Two teaspoons, and you can also add that in to your liking to make it taste better. Now we mix it. You can try it. Delightful. All we have to do is pour a mixture into our muffin tins. Try one right here. No. No. You're holding eight things. Today we're making 12 muffins. Some people like to make 11 muffins. I think those people are crazy. Actually, we're only making 10 muffins. That's way better than 11 muffins. Actually, we might have enough to make 11 muffins. You There's mean we're only making 11 muffins? <laughs> what a bunch of losers. So now we've got everything in our tray, and we're those people, and we have 11 muffins. <laughs> We will be adding chocolate chips to the top to make it look nice and taste better. And I just opened that up horribly. All yeah! Right. We're doing really good. Now we're topping our pumpkin muffins with some chocolate chips. I imagine as if the chocolate chip were an asteroid coming down from outer space and you landed in your muffin. I like that technique. 
You guys, do the chocolate chip throwing technique. It's really fun. <laughs> so now that we have chocolate chips absolutely cratered into our muffins, it's time to throw it into the oven for 20, 25 minutes. See you in 20 minutes. Look at how good these look. It's slightly burning my hands. These look so good. You let them sit for 20 minutes. It's gonna be really tempting not to eat them right away. Woohoo! It's been 20 minutes. They are going to be a little more gooey because it's not your typical muffins. Cheers! Muffin cheers! Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. This is a perfect dessert to bring if you want something really quick, easy, everyone will love, and it's healthy. It tastes like fall. Super easy pumpkin muffin recipe, vegan, gluten-free, delicious. Gooey. Who doesn't like gooey? Why would you not want gooey? You want gooey. Mwah. Thanks for watching. Also, make sure you click the subscribe button. If you like this video, maybe you will like some of the other videos. Bye guys. Some nice sprinkles of commentary, some pizzazz, a little bit of artisanal salt.